Hey, millionaire. We're all used to talking about celebrities as the rich and famous, but take a closer look, and you might realize that even though they're definitely famous, they're not all as rich as you think. Many stars who seem to have a lavish lifestyle were actually burning through their millions. Sure, some stars were always going to end up broke, but a lot of the celebrities on this list will surprise you, as some of them lost all their money in ways you'd never even dream of. I guess even the celebrities who look normal are secretly weird. In this video, we'll count some celebs that seem rich but actually went broke. You'll never guess who took our number one spot, so let's get into it. Number 17. Larry King Larry King was firmly part of our culture for half a century, so it's pretty difficult to believe that there was a time where he was blacklisted and went bankrupt. His career started in the 60s, but by 1971, he'd run into some trouble. He was accused of stealing $5,000 from his Wall Street financer partner and was charged with grand theft. The charges were dropped, as you'd expect, but he was still fired from his job and was basically blacklisted from starting any news jobs in journalism for four years. By 1978, he was $350,000 in debt and had to file for bankruptcy. We're all lucky he made a comeback, though. Just imagine what TV and radio would have been like without him. Number 16. Nicolas Cage Considering his popularity, Nicolas Cage might seem like a surprising name to see on this list. But let's not forget he's a well-known eccentric. He's had money to burn, earning about $40 million every year by 2010. And it kept getting better. He had about $150 million in the bank to spend on weird things. And as you'd expect, that's exactly what he did. He bought more houses than I can keep track of and they're pretty impressive. There was a 25 million Newport Beach home, a haunted mansion in New Orleans, not one, but two European castles, and a whole island located in the Bahamas. Then, of course, he needed stuff to fill his weird houses with, so he bought a pet octopus worth 150,000 and a dinosaur skull that must have been worth about a dollar an ounce at $270,000. That's about what you're expecting from Cage, right? His fun ended in 2009 when he lost several properties and he realized he owed six million unpaid property taxes. Luckily, his renewed fame has helped him pay off his debt and bounce back. Number 15. Marvin Gaye The soulful singer of sexual healing had more than his fair share of problems before his early death. Marvin Gaye was a superstar, and that was reflected in his bank balance for years. He was pretty generous with his money. While he had it, he bought his parents a house and even made sure his dad had a gun to protect the family. That turned out to be a big mistake. The day before Marvin's 45th birthday, his father had shot and killed him with the gun Marvin had bought him. Marvin had been suffering from mental health issues leading up to his death. His estate was left with a debt of $9.2 million. Luckily, they could use his music rights to pay it off fast, but it definitely is a tragic story. Number 14. Aaron Carter Aaron Carter made a name for himself in his brother's band, the Backstreet Boys, but that didn't mean he didn't see his own success. He claimed he'd actually made $200 million before he turned 18. That's pretty impressive. But sadly, it didn't last. In 2013, Carter filed for bankruptcy. His debt was staggering, with just 8,000 in assets. He apparently owed 3.5 million. Sadly, he claims all this debt was handed to him by his parents, who he claims mismanaged his funds while he was a teenager. Luckily, he had paid off those debts by 2014, but he's still only worth a couple hundred thousand now, nothing close to the 200 million his parents threw away. Number 13. Randy Quaid as a star of huge blockbusters like Independence Day and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, you'd expect Randy Quaid had no problems with money. But actually, he spent a lot of time running from law enforcement and collecting huge hotel bills over the last couple of years. It hasn't quite bankrupted him just yet, but it's not doing his wallet any good. If you're wondering why he's on the list even though he's not completely broke, I have a good answer. He and his wife claim they're squandering their fortune this way to escape the Hollywood star whackers. According to them, the Star Whackers are a secret underground cult that assassinates actors to steal their fortunes. It's an exciting idea, but since Randy is worth less than a million dollars now, I don't think any assassin cults are interested in killing him for his money anymore. Number 12. Stephen Baldwin 
Despite starring in The Usual Suspects and Born on the Fourth of July, these days, Stephen Baldwin might actually be more famous for being Justin Bieber's father-in-law. But even with all that money floating around in the family, Stephen actually went totally broke. He filed for bankruptcy in 2009, and I think that was probably the right choice, considering he was $2.3 million in debt. It won't surprise you that it took him 10 years to pay it off. It would have taken me a lot longer. Number 11. Donald Trump We all know Donald Trump made his name as a successful businessman, but was he really as successful as his character on The Apprentice claimed? Not so much. He got a start in business working with his dad, and it was his dad who gave him a head start when he decided to branch out too by adding a couple of personal loans on top of his $1 million trust fund. He invested in casinos, hotels, and apartment buildings, and every single one of them was a failure. According to the New York Times, between 1985 and 1989, Trump's business lost an incredible total of $359.1 million. And they didn't stop there. He had to file for bankruptcy a total of six times, most recently in 2009. Although all those times, he was only filing for bankruptcy for his businesses. That kept him afloat and mostly maintained his personal finances. But it sure did leave a lot of broke workers in his wake. Number 10. Kurt Schilling Kurt Schilling was one of the biggest names in baseball, earning an incredible $114 million over the years he was playing. Interestingly, he decided to go into video games after his retirement. He created a company called 38 Studios and went looking for funds. It turned out to be harder than he thought. So, he invested $50 million of his own money, plus a $75 million loan from the state of Rhode Island, and a couple other loans between $5 and $10 million from other small investors. You can already see where this is going. A few bad financial decisions and failed deals later, and he was filing for bankruptcy. But it wasn't just any kind of bankruptcy. He was $150.7 million in debt. It's not my money, but just looking at that figure hurts. Number 9. Tony Braxton Despite Tony Braxton's incredible fame and more than one career, she's the only person on the list who had to file for bankruptcy not just once, but twice. Her fame really took off in 1996 when her huge hit, Unbreak My Heart, spent 11 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 list. It was a huge achievement, and with that kind of fame comes lots of money. But in just two years, Tony was filing for bankruptcy. It was partly due to a lawsuit she'd filed against her record company because she wanted to end her contract early. But she also claimed in an interview that she had spent loads of money on something pretty surprising, kitchen stuff and other household items. I don't know how many plates you have to buy to burn through millions of dollars, but she managed to do it. After that, her fame took off again, thanks to more music. But sadly, in 2008, she found herself in trouble again when she had to cancel a tour due to health issues. She lost millions as a result. Hopefully, her reality TV show helped her bounce back after that. Number 8. Courtney Love Courtney Love shot to fame as a super cool wife of Nirvana's Kurt Cobain. They were probably the coolest couple on earth for a while, but as we all know, it was cut short by Cobain's tragic suicide. As his wife, Courtney suddenly inherited 27 million, but Courtney was a true rocker, and nobody with a rock and roll lifestyle has ever stopped partying long enough to manage their money. She literally blew it all on drugs and parties. On top of that, she's had more than her fair share of legal battles over the years, even as recently as 2018. She hasn't filed for bankruptcy, but the Nirvana millions are gone. She now makes just enough money to live. Number 7. Janice Dickinson Janice Dickinson is one trend in fashion that doesn't change. She's been strutting her stuff for over 40 years now and declaring herself the world's first supermodel. But apparently, all that years of judging America's next top model haven't saved her from bankruptcy. She had to file in 2013, claiming she just had 19,000 in assets, but a million worth in liabilities, including more than half a million in back taxes. Oof. Number 6. Jose Canseco Jose Canseco is easily one of the biggest names in baseball history. His bank balance reflected his shining career, and he earned about $45 million over the years. Incredibly, he managed to blow it all. But if you asked him, 
He'd tell you that none of it was his fault. He managed to blame nearly everyone on Earth for losing his money. Everyone except himself, that is. Of course, he blames his two divorces first, plus the couple of family members he took care of. But he also loves blaming the government because he forgot to pay his taxes. He filed for bankruptcy in 2012 with just 21,000 in assets and 1.7 million in debts. That's a lot of money lost to blame on other people. Number 5. Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds was one of the most popular actors of his day, and that's no surprise with hit films like Smokey and the Bandit and The Cannonball Run. But his huge popularity meant he also became one of the highest paid actors of the 70s and 80s. It didn't take him long to build his fortune to 60 million. His spending reflected his bank balance, and his purchases actually made up a pretty impressive list. He had multiple houses, more than one custom car a private jet, a helicopter, and unbelievably, 150 horses and $100,000 worth of wigs. But as hard as it is to believe, that wasn't what bankrupted him. It was actually a pretty weird investment that took him down. He somehow convinced his business manager that it was a good idea to invest in a chain of restaurants called Po Folks. I promise that's not a joke. The reviews of the restaurants are about as terrible as you'd expect. Reynolds was then advised to invest in something else to offset the loss. It was another restaurant chain, this time called Daisy Diner. Obviously, that also failed miserably. Daisy Diner also cost him and his business partner $20 million. On top of those losses, he was battling through a messy and very expensive divorce. He filed for bankruptcy in 1996, partly because he couldn't pay back a loan from CBS. He was $10 million in debt which is an incredible amount of money. But if you think about the po-folk mistake, I guess it could have been worse. What was the worst investment idea you've ever heard? Tell us in the comments. The celebs coming up have even bigger losses, so keep watching. Number 4. Kim Basinger Kim Basinger was once one of the most famous people on Earth. Her striking good looks helped, but she was helped along by major roles in films like Batman. But she didn't have the same talent for investing. She decided the best way to spend her money was to buy an entire town in Georgia and turn it into a tourist attraction. As you've already guessed, it didn't work out as planned, and she lost all of the $20 million she invested. Around the same time, she found herself in the middle of a major lawsuit. She had allegedly verbally agreed to take on the lead role in the film Boxing Helena. It was going to be directed by David Lynch's daughter, but it all got a bit messy when Jennifer Lynch started changing the script. Basinger said they lied to her about some stuff, and the changes Lynch had made to the script made the whole film seem more like bad TV than the ambitious film she showed interest in. You'd probably agree with Basinger if you've ever seen the film, but no matter how right she was, she was still sued for $8.1 million, although some sources say the judge took pity on her and only made her pay $3.8 million. That didn't help her avoid going bankrupt, though. Number 3. MC Hammer MC Hammer was all over the airwaves when he released the hit Can't Touch This. It's rumored that the song was such a hit that by 1991, he was earning $30 million per year, and that's with $70 million already in the bank. Unfortunately, MC Hammer seemed to like money a little too much. His big expense was a $30 million custom-built mansion. It featured indoor and outdoor pools, state-of-the-art control panels for everything in the house, and three waterfalls, which is exactly three more waterfalls than anyone needs. Apparently, he'd refused to do anything for himself and instead had 200 staff members to keep everything in order, costing him about a half a million dollars per month. And we haven't even mentioned the horses and expensive cars. As you can probably tell, he was spending more than he was making. In 1996, he finally filed for bankruptcy, but he was already $13 million in debt. And it wasn't just back taxes either. He owed pretty large sums to his brother, plus a couple of limousine companies and department stores. Of course, all the luxury items he gathered were sold to pay off the huge debt. Number 2. 50 Cent with hits that kept on rolling like In The Club and Super Bowl halftime performances, you'd expect 50 Cent to be one of the richest celebs around. He made a huge mistake a couple of years ago when he posted a sex tape. The tape featured Lestonia Levinston, the ex-girlfriend of Rick Ross. She was rightly angry when she realized her tape was put online for everyone to see. She sued him, and the courts agreed, ordering him to pay her $7 million. On top of that, he'd also just lost $10 million due to failed business investments, and he owed money to people like his stylist and fitness coach. He eventually had to file for bankruptcy, despite once being worth about $150 million. Although, to be fair, 
He has since bounced back and is currently a multi-millionaire again, but his net worth is nowhere near what it once was. Finally, we've reached number one. The person who took our top spot is number one, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is a genuine legend. With each boxing match earning him several million, his net worth soon grew to about $300 million. That's a crazy amount of money to lose, but Tyson was a pretty big spender. It all started when he was arrested for the rape of Desiree Washington. He was found guilty and spent three years in jail. At least after hearing that, you don't need to feel bad about him losing all his money. After getting out of prison, he started spending incredible amounts of money. Soon, he had a $4 million car collection, Bengal Tigers worth 100 grand, and he was throwing giant parties, which were costing $400,000 each. Oh, and there was the $2 million solid gold bathtub he bought for his ex-wife. He finally burned through all his money by 2003, and he had to file for bankruptcy, claiming he was $23 million in debt, including $52,000 in unpaid child support. Maybe he'll hold back on the gold bathtubs next time.